those who do accept it, to those who uh, want to understand, um, you know, then 
we, we need to go further. All right. So if these three constructs, now three, three paradigms, um, are, are truly generated, used as an apparatus uh, for social engineering and control of the consensus of mass population, um, if that's truly going on, let's look at what the people are saying right now, okay? Um, there are a lot of people in independent media, and this has actually been um, kind of filtering over into the mainstream media, which allows a person who has been studying this for the past 12 years, um, and when I say this, I'm talking about truth in general, truth in general. Um, that they, they can, I can start to see the sign. I can start to see what it is that they're doing. If it's in mainstream, that means they want a control, an overall control, because they know that they have the uh, attention. Okay, uh, it's, it's a monopolized attention on television, and now on social media, it's becoming more and more uh, monopolized. Uh, it's the whole reason for Facebook. You know, uh, MySpace was uh, very uh, liberal in terms of what you're able to post. You were able to put um, hypertext marking language, HTML uh, information, uh, just personalize it, individualize it. Um, I, I believe that the people that um, created MySpace didn't really know what they had until they had it, uh, and then they adapted uh, accordingly. But um, uh, that's why uh, Fox, uh, Rupert Murdoch, fought them out. That's why he did not. Rupert Murdoch is a DID, okay? Uh, if you don't know what a DID is, refer to my other videos. Basically, uh, it's an acronym that I've created. It's, uh, it stands for uh, Demon in Disguise. Sorry, lost my train of thought. Um, it happens when you only have eight hours of sleep in two weeks. Yes, I am complaining again, but I don't care. The point is, is that um, Facebook, excuse me, Facebook was put into play by a, what many would deem a Jesuit or CIA operative, Mark Zuckerberg, who was planted there. Whether that's true or not, don't care. I look at, I look at what happens because of it. I look at the control um, uh, uh, function of uh, whatever media that we're using, all right? Uh, in social media, you have to understand that it is a double-edged sword. All right, but it mainly is working for them right now because they have collected your information. Um, and wh when I say this, all you got to do is read when you accept, you know, but we never do, obviously, because, and they do it on purpose. They put all of these rules and, and uh, you know, regulations and all these things that you have to abide by to agree to use the program or the app or whatever um, because it's free, right? So it's free. You're like, hey, man, I can talk to my friends, uh, you know. Um, Communicate socially, uh, share stuff, you know, have fun on the internet because, you know, I've got nothing better to do with my time. Um, and on that note, on a personal note, I wish I didn't have to be on these websites. I wish I could walk around the world and everything was, you know, beautiful and wonderful and I could ride a unicorn to go get some uh, free beer. You know, I, I want that. But this is the reality that we're living in, so I fuck up. And I'm on it constantly because I have to be on it constantly as a Hebrew Israelite, trying to teach the truth that I have learned, all right? Um, every now and again, I try to have some fun because, you know, this, this world sucks, straight up. This world sucks. I, I'm, I'm not happy with it, but I have to own up to the fact that if, if I sin, I don't have a right to complain about it, okay? I sin. I am a sinner. And the Bible speaks about how we, um, we fell short to the glory of the Most High. Right? And in doing so, we have cursed not just ourselves by claiming death, okay? because before we didn't have to die. right? Before our fall in the Garden of Eden, we did not have to die. There's no scripture that says we had to die. okay? Um, it only happened afterwards. It only happened when um, we partook of the free, uh, I mean, partook of the uh, tree of knowledge. Um, and again, yes, I said this before, you know, the, the Satan led us, right? He manipulated us, but he did not make the choice for us. So I'm not going to complain about this world in general um, if I'm not going to do something about it. And this is me doing something about it, all right? So, uh, with that said, uh, they control the consensus. They control, um, you know, well, they don't control, but they manipulate uh, for control. 
uh, leading us uh, through our own insecurities because you know I got girls that are out there constantly uh, promoting every type of sin you know possible and, and next to nothing uh, outfits for, for the sole reason of what you know because you're you know your, your mommy or your daddy didn't love you and yes I'm being very very forthright here and I apologize if I insult anybody but again if you're insulted you put the shoe on and realize something about yourself to change that's what I did that's what I did okay I'm trying to this very day it's not in judgment I can't judge you but I can at least point you in a direction that I've gone to that's a better way okay it's not a way that just works for me oh it's what I believe yeah, duh. You, you can't do anything without belief. You can't. You prove to me right now that you can do something without belief, and I will consider going your way. Alright? Um, so, what am I getting at? I'm getting at something very, very um, necessary. Alright? I'm going to kind of skip ahead because um, I have a tendency to ramble. You guys know that already by now, but... Um, what I wanted to say first and foremost is that there's these rumors going on that uh, Hillary uh, Clinton is still in play uh, for the presidency. Now, um, I predicted that Hillary Clinton um, was going to be chosen. Not voted in, but chosen. Okay, I don't believe they get voted in, all right? And I've already explained to you and given you the proof, you know, about the Electoral College that tells you they pick them. They pick. Okay, there is a they, there is a conspiracy, there are DIDs, uh, read about in Genesis 6 in the book of Enoch, uh, the, um, the Apocrypha, all over the Bible, alright, they're there, they exist, move on, deal with it, okay, you, know, you have it in pop culture, um, alien nation, they live, you know, um, all of the pop culture, they're telling you what's going on, it's not just for fun, it's fun for them, because they get to make millions and billions of dollars off of us, and call it entertainment, but they're laughing at you because they know it's true. Why do you think John Carpenter's dead? Why do you think Roddy Piper's dead? They're both um, were responsible for one of my favorite films of all time, They Live. If you don't know what it is, look it up, man. It's a great film. It's a, it's a great uh, parable, as my savior would say, Yeshaya. It is, uh, it's a metaphor on what's actually going, how there are these secret entities that live within us, disguised as us, um, secretly controlling the world. That's really what's going on, folks, all right? You can take that for what it's worth. You can look all into the videos that I've posted, uh, all the information that I've posted, you know, follow me, look for it, look for it. It's there, the information is there. If you do not believe, that's on you, but the information is there, okay? And it's all just like the Bible said. It's all just like the Bible said. Um, you people who are um, out there kind of like, um, you know, arguing and bickering about, well, the Bible contradicts itself, and the Bible says this and that. Well, show me the context. Show me the reality. So show me the sequential timeline from Old Testament to now that can prove what you're saying. Okay? Because a lot of the old stuff was taken out when Christ lived. And then you're going to sit there and condemn the Most High for, for doing stuff that he knew, that only he knew, had to be done for the right reasons. When your people, your own children, are running astray, okay, and doing what is wrong against the naturalistic function, yeah, you're, you're going you're gonna to want to try to fix it. You're going to want to try to make sure that they don't do that anymore, all right? But the reality is, is that I've said this before, I don't think it's because you don't believe it. I think it's because you don't want to believe it, because that's the way I was. Now, you and I are different people, obviously, but, you know, we share a lot of the same principles in many different ways because, you know, of whatever roads that we led on. 
Okay, so come to grips with your own reality. Are you truly questioning this for, um, you know, intellectual honesty, right? If there is no God, if there was a God, he's an evil tyrant or whatever. Or are you just trying to justify your own sin and live your life the way you want to live it, right? Here's the key for me. I am living my life the way I want to live it by telling you this. I am living my life the way I want to live it by following the Most High. I am living my life the way I want to live it as He created me to do that. I no longer want to be manipulated by an enemy that hates me simply for being alive and then points the finger back at me and saying, Why do you hate me? I, I didn't ask to be here. Okay, so? You look into a cult, this is what I'm talking about, okay? This is this is the premise of the occult. This is how they 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 garner all of these um, poor souls to serve them, Satan. Okay? And Satanism. As such, you also have uh, people from Trump's side. Okay? Supposedly he's hired extra people, he's got his own, he's integrated his own um, um, bodyguards and whatnot with the Secret Service. He's having them work together. Why? Because on his, his inaugural, uh, um, I mean, I'm sorry, his uh, uh, swearing in next month, he's expecting someone to kill him. He's expecting assassination. And and I don't know where the sensationalism came up with. I, I've read that it's a former CIA agent that's talking about this, you know, supposed coup. Um, you know, as far as I'm concerned, uh, the coup happened in the Garden of Eden, okay? So it's been going on for a while, okay? These terms, these 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 sensationalistic um, uh, narratives, are nothing more than that. If they decide to assassinate him, I guarantee you that he's probably not really dead. Okay, he's no JFK. Plain and simple, he's not. But they understand that in the latter days the terrors will be lifted. You understand that? So they also understand that more and more people are coming to the truth. All right, and. And when I say they, I'm talking about Satan and his and his children, the Nephilim, okay, demons. That's who's manipulating uh, all of this uh, insanity. Oh, honey, hello, my baby, hello, my ragtime gal. Now, um, we have to come to grips with the fact that um, things are not um, the way they seem, much less the way we want it. Okay, we're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to face up to that. Um, we also have to face up to the fact that there is a very real war that's going on. This war is not for your mind. It's not an info war. That's another narrative created to keep people astray. Um, I mean, if 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 that organization was telling the one hundred percent truth, they would probably be as popular as my channel, uh, my ministry, or some of the others that are trying to tell the actual truth straight out not to mention the fact that um they wouldn't be allowed to tell this much truth all right and that kind of works in tandem obviously i mean if if you know what i was saying ever got popular enough i'd be around much longer doesn't matter i'm gonna, I'm gonna we've all got to face death right we've all got to face death someday but what i'm more concerned with is facing judgment there is a difference okay and that's what this is all about are we sure that we want to put our absolute trust in one person that asks for that absolute trust. Okay. Um, I, I will continue to quote one of my favorite verses in which Yeshia, the anointed one, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, um, spoke and, he, and told us that he's the only way. He's the only way to the Father. Why? Because he's the only one that walked the walk and talked it. He died sinless. Everyone else has a potential to do good. I'm not, I'm not disclaiming that. What I am saying, or disavowing that, what I am saying is that every person also has uh, the ability to do wrong. And you've got to wager that. You've got to, you've got to wage that, rather, uh, against what is being offered for either uh, choice, okay? Um, Donald Trump is a very rich man. 
And um, I'm going to say straight out that I've seen some compelling evidence that, that leads me to believe that he is not as human as people would believe. I regret speaking on an esoteric uh, um, mind frame right now. I apologize for that, but I'm going to have to because I'm speaking to, to truthers right now. I'm speaking to people that know um, near or as much as I do. Okay? Um, I apologize for that. But, you know, when you have people like uh, Lady Gaga, who is also a DID. Um, all of a sudden going on, on uh, independent and mainstream media saying that Prince Charles, she saw him uh, shapeshift into a quote-unquote reptilian uh, back and forth during one of her events uh, there overseas, I believe. When you start seeing stuff like that, that is what the Bible says that the terrors are going to be lifted. Uh, we are starting to see the reality and the truth, not because she's telling the truth, okay? But because of the works, why would they do this? Why would they go out and start, um, you know, telling people about these things? They, I mean the enemy, I mean Nephilim, DIDs, demons in disguise, okay? Um, it, it has to do with fear mongering. They know that the people out there that care about this stuff and want to teach the truth to the best of their ability, like myself and many others, um, catch this stuff, okay? And they want to create, first of all, they want to create fear through them, through ignorance, by saying, oh no, you know, this, that, and the other, it's, if Lady Gaga said it, it must be true. It's like, man, there's, there's all sorts of information out there that, 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 that that's, you know, could cause contention in even the most biggest skeptic that she is not a human being. The only reason I believe it, yes, I use that term believe because, uh, you know, how, what, is, what, what you going to do? Knock on my door and say, hey, Mark, I'm a reptilian or a DID and, and shapeshift in front of me. The odds of that happening is not going to happen. Probably no, no. But I'm told in the Bible to look at the works. I'm told to test the spirit. Okay, so I look at it from that standpoint. And I'm also told that um, if you really want to stop and think about it, there is nothing that you do. Every word you say, every action you make, you do not do it without faith. You don't. If you can prove that to me, then I'll start to consider what you're saying. I'll, 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 I'll backslide all the way back to uh, agnosticism and Satanism. Boom. I'll get back into the occult because boom, you know what? It's not about faith. It's, just, it's not about what you see uh, uh, you know, in your heart. Yeah, break, man. It's time for people to start waking up and growing up. Stop believing people out there that are telling you that this is the way it is. It's this paradigm or it's that paradigm. And if you're not down with the system, you haven't seen Donald Trump and this, that, and the other, or even if you're from Hillary's camp, if you can even call it a camp. Because let's face it, if, if, if he is um, um, killed, he's either going to rise up again like the Bible speaks about, or, um, you know, she's going to somehow take office uh, even though that's not even the way it's supposed to go, your vice president takes the office after uh, the first one, I mean, after the president gets assassinated. But we also know that Obama signed um, for his third term in the event of some sort of crazy thing going on. And you, you have, you have um, the, uh, I think the general of the uh, uh, National Guard, who's supposed to uh, purvey and watch over the inauguration, at the exact time of his uh, swearing in is where that general has been uh, terminated, fired. Look into it. Look into it. He even said, I really don't know why they did that. That's kind of strange, but uh, you know, I gotta follow orders. Now, obviously, uh, uh, it, that again is to instill fear into the, the, the consensus. Whoever watches this, whoever's reporting it online, whoever's talking about this, 
And um, the second uh, thing is that they want the people who are reporting this to be afraid. Okay? Like me. This is PSYOPs on a super level. Okay? I've been, I've been, I've been looking at this stuff long enough to know that that's what's going on. And um, I'm not afraid. Okay? And anybody reporting this stuff and truly cares about it, you shouldn't be afraid either. All right? Especially if you have the most high. In fact, really only if you have the most high. Yeah, I'm testifying to you right now. Uh, you know, whoever is listening to this and, and does not understand um, the biblical aspects of this, um, you don't have to be afraid of anything. You don't have to, to tell people the truth um, in fear. You don't. Uh, the Most High will take me when he wants to take me. He'll take my loved ones when he wants to take them, not the enemy. Okay? The Bible tells us specifically that the Most High did not give us a spirit of fear. Alright? That means that um, there are spirits out there that are named fear. And they come into people, okay, um, through whatever outlet is available. Alright? And the Bible also tells us that um, fear not man. Who can destroy uh, the body but fear the most high alone who can send both body and soul into hell I'm afraid of that okay that wrath nothing higher that's why he's the most high does he want to send you to hell of course not that's why he told you that okay he wants us to follow reality Anything, I've learned that anything but the Most High isn't real. And I'm talking about narratives and you know, all, all this uh, uh, deception construct. I'm not talking about human beings or rabbits or bunnies or bears. Iguanas. Rubik's Cubes. Um, I'm talking about, you know, the deception of our world. So, whatever goes down in February... It's not going to matter, all right? Uh, they want you to be afraid. They feed off of your energy. The demons, I mean. And um, that's really what's going on more than anything. Of course, their entire plan is, is you know, going full motion. But it's supposed to, <laughs> okay? It's supposed to go forward, all right? Yeshia died for our sins. And um, that's it, you know? Turn from them your sins um, resist Satan and he shall flee from you hold on to the Holy Spirit in baptism and um, follow Christ man follow Christ not narratives in any way shape or form ignore the Hegelian dialectic you're better than that and um, let's get this done man let's get this done and uh, let's go home and um, have some fun and the anointed one, Yeshaya's name, it is finished. So totally, totally, totally. Who is it? It's Lady Gaga. Dang it.